everyone. Just come back with a post review. She's finished. My Skull and Rose from Star Or is finally finished. I put this, um, when did I order it? I ordered it back in November. I think it came first or second week in December. It didn't take long to come. And I've been working on it on and off since then. Usually been doing it on a Sunday on my lives. A couple of times I've done it for an hour or so before my live in Jen Jen's live. But mostly in my live on a Sunday that I've been doing this. And I have loved it. As you can see, it is stunning. I mean, I can read the words without having to look in the camera. And what was the price of this? I think it was 19, yeah, 19.99 for the painting. And that's dollars, 19.99 dollars. And then three, I want to say three, $3.20 for shipping, which I thought was excellent for shipping. I couldn't get over how good the price was for shipping. Right, so we get down into it. Right, drill area is 35 by 46 and the fabric size is 39 by 51. Give or take a couple of mil. I think we measured it and it was slightly under, but that's fine. I like the fact they've got this up here so you can always see what numbers you were. And down here as well, it gives you a checklist of how many you should have of each thing so you can check when it comes. And it also gave you, which I thought was really cute, a little, that was on the packet on the outside, so I cut it off. So then when I was on my live, I could just show what it's supposed to look like, which I thought was a great idea. And I will keep that. Oh, somebody walking past with some pillows. So yeah, so I love it. Absolutely love it. Love the colours on it. I think, and I don't know if you can, can you see the shine? Yeah, you can look at that shine. Isn't it a gorgeous? The drills are absolutely gorgeous and shiny. Um, I've only got one negative, which I'm a bit annoyed with, but um, it has got popping drills. I've never come across popping drills on rounds ever since I've been doing it, which I've been, I mean, I haven't been doing it, I suppose, the whole time. I think it was a year in November. Um, I still feel a few. I mean, I managed to move um, my drills around to get them to, to fit. I've sort of, I don't know if you can see down here, it's a bit uneven where I've pulled them down a bit to make them, and on the sides to make them fit. I did count, contact Star All more than once um, to tell them about the problem. Um, the first time... I think it was um, uh, 24th, 26th of January, something like that. I let them know that there was a problem. They just said, can you send photos? Um, so I did. And I've heard absolutely nothing back that they're going to investigate, that they're sorry that it happened or they realise there was a problem. Nothing. So I've left it and then I've contacted them again. Um, asking, you know, telling them that I was going to do a post review. I'd like to tell all you lot, you know, what what the what the problem was. Was it because? Because I was saying, is it because you know they trying to stop the gap in, so they made either the drill field a little bit bigger or the diamonds a little bit bigger, something like that, you know. But heard nothing, so I emailed them again. Well, messaged them again, um, explaining the problem and that I'd mailed them before and you know I talked it over people and I said I'd give them another contact them again to see if they've got any answers as to why it would be doing what it was doing and you know because I do want to buy off them nothing so I contacted on Instagram as well and I contacted Lucy on Instagram Mrs Coffee suggested maybe trying Lucy on Instagram and nothing no replies no answers nothing which i'm a little bit disappointed you know i didn't expect answers 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 but i thought they might say oh thanks you know again for letting us know reminding us it's a problem we don't have realized it or we're looking into it you know no so i don't know so i don't know what the answer to that is um i'm hopefully they're looking into it and it's just a one-off you know it's just i've been unlucky to have the one 
um, with the popping drills. But having said that, having said that, I absolutely still love doing it, even with some popping drills. I mean, I just go around and I just pop them back in, but I am going to seal this to make sure that they don't um, come off because I want, I do want to hang this one. Um, I've got a bit of dirt in there as well. Can you see it from there? Can you see that bit there? I'll have to get that out after. Yeah, so, but, as I say, having said that, they're absolutely, the quality of the actual drills is the, one of the best I've ever seen of rounds. There is, um, they're all the same size. There's no knobbly bits. The shine is the same on every single diamond. You know, there was I didn't find a dull diamond throughout them all. And I said the only trash that I've had is the dark ones there are ones that I accidentally put in another bag. And then we've got we have got a few that are must have been chopped in half as they were doing that. And then the whole ones that you see are the ones that are hitchhikers in bags. But that's it. The most, well, I think I've got a couple with a bit of knobbly bits in, maybe three or four, but that was it. But mostly it was just bits that have been chopped in half or hitchhikers. Because no one comes to Wales, you can't blame them, can you? It's a beautiful, beautiful country. You know, scenery is stunning. They want to come see me. <laughs> and that, that little snotty bit in the bit, is all the old wax that I took out my pens. I always see they're just as, I know it's stupid just to see how much wax I go through on a diamond painting. And that's what I went through on this one. But I haven't emptied the last lot, so just a little tiny bit more than that. So I thought that was quite good for a painting this size. Right, how many drills did I have left? Wow. Let me show you. Hang on. I have to show you. There's my kitty cat, look. She was with me throughout this because I thought she matched. Didn't she match that? <laughs> Right, let me turn that over so you can see. Don't look at that stain up there. Some coffee came out of my coffee cup. I nearly died. It was like, oh my God. But you can only just about see it up there. Yeah. Be careful with your coffee when you have a... I slipped and a bit of it fell on there. Right, these are the drills that I've got. I mean, there isn't a chance in hell of you running out of any. Oh, that's the bag that I... Let's see, I've got some dark browns in with it. Don't ask me why, don't know, don't even remember doing it. But there is absolutely stacks and stacks left in each bag. I could probably do the painting again, not far off anyway. It'd probably be, well, I don't know, I think I probably would have enough. I'm sure they put double the amount. And again, they sent the bags with them, so I didn't. I just had to kit up in them bags. These are little stickers I bought because I was going to write on the bags. I didn't have a pen that would write on them. All the pens I had would wipe straight off. So I found some little stickers. I think I'd got them in one of my toolbox kits I bought or something. So I put them on. So I'm hoping, above hope, that if they don't come off, ah, oh, they don't come off, luck. But the top layer comes off, so I can just stick another sticker. I'll rip that off because I'll need that if I'm going to keep them. Um, just stick another sticker on top. Or I might just kit down and just put all these away. I don't know. I haven't decided whether I'm going to... I want to keep the diamonds, really, because they're just so nice. I mean, look at them. Can you see the sparkle in that? These blues look. Anyway. Can you see that? I'm trying to hit the light so you can see. Even though it's in a plastic bag, you can still see the show. As she just spills them everywhere because she didn't shut the, <laughs> shut the trap of the bag. Wet your finger and in they go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So yeah, so as I say, I've got loads and loads and loads of them left. So, but I do love these bags. Put them back in there. Get in there. They will get in there. Look at that colour. 
Isn't that lovely? It's like a pinky red. So I'll put them back in my thing. So yeah, so my overall thoughts on this. I have to say, I had, as I said to you, I would definitely buy off them again. i got to admit. And I am going to buy off them just to see um, whether I get another canvas the same. I think you should always give a, a, a company a second chance. You know, even though they haven't answered me, I'm just presuming that they're extremely busy. And if they do, I will put it down in, if they do get back to me, I will put um, a tension thing underneath at the top so you can see. But um, I am going to give them another chance because they have got a lot of canvases that are right up my street. I love the way they come. it comes packaged. If you want to see the unboxing, you'd be... You'll be pleasantly surprised how they package this because it is gorgeous how they send it to you. And they also sent you loads of these, which I thought was great. So if you didn't like the plastic cover, the clear cover, and you like these, which I did use, actually end up using both on mine. Um, I'll put a little eye. It will be up that corner, I think. Or that corner. I can't remember that corner. Um, up on the unboxing of this so you can go back and have a look and see how it comes boxed and what you get in the kit all together but yeah so the overall view is check them out i think they're a lovely company their diamonds are one of the best i've seen that i personally have used um of rounds and as i say it was an absolute dream to work on even though it had some popping drills it was still an absolute pleasure and you know that i'm not kidding because if you watch any of my lives that i've worked on it i'm loving it i'm just constantly putting them down because i'm absolutely loving doing it you know so yeah so <laughs> that's my post review of star or give them a thumbs up i think big thumbs up from me um yeah so if you like what you see and you're not subscribed i'd be really really grateful if you press the old subscribe button it don't cost you anything thank you for the ones that have recently decided to come and join me i appreciate that and i really really appreciate the ones that have stuck around from the beginning and keep coming back to watch my videos it means it does mean an awful lot um if you like what you see you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down it's all interaction and if you want to leave a comment or give me a chat or find out anything about me all the details are down below so take care look after yourselves and speak to you all soon. Bye for now.